Dear friends, welcome back to Curious With. I am Dr. Mohsina. In today's video, we will uh, see a viral disease condition in rabbits. So, let's begin today's topic, myxomatosis in rabbits, also known as big head or mosquito disease. Myxomatosis is a fatal disease of all breeds of domesticated rabbits. Myxomatosis is called big head and is characterized by mucinous skin lesions or myxedema of the head. Wild rabbits such as cotton tail, silvilagus and jack rabbits, lepus are quite resistant. Now let's see the etiology. The disease is caused by myxoma virus, a member of pox virus group. This is the picture of myxoma virus. Myxoma virus infected silvilagus develop fibroma like lesions similar to those caused by rabbit fibroma virus. All other mammals are refractory to the virus. Myxomatosis has a worldwide distribution. In the US, myxomatosis is restricted largely to the coastal area of California and Oregon where epidemics occur infrequently but sporadic cases are very common. These areas that is coastal areas of Oregon and California correspond to the geographic distribution of California brush rabbit Silvilagus bachmani and that is the reservoir of the infection. So California brush rabbit is the reservoir of myxomatosis. Losses in rabbit risk may be very high accounting 25 to 90 percentage and transmission occurs via mosquitoes, fleas, biting flies and also by direct contact. Now let's see the clinical signs. The initial sign is conjunctivitis that rapidly becomes more marked and is accompanied by a milky ocular discharge. Rabbit is listless and anorectic with a fever that frequently reaches 108 degree Fahrenheit or 42 degree Celsius. In acute outbreaks, some rabbits may die within 48 hours after the signs appear. Those that survive become progressively depressed and develop a rough coat. The eyelids, nose, lips and ears become edematous which gives a swollen appearance to the head as, as seen in this picture. In females, the vulva become inflamed and edematous. In male, the scrotum swells. A characteristic sign at this stage is drooping of the edematous ears. So, the drooping of the edematous ears is clearly visible here in this picture. A purulent nasal discharge invariably appears. Breathing becomes labored and the rabbit goes into a coma just before death, which usually occurs within 1 to 2 weeks after the clinical signs appear. Occasionally, a rabbit survives for several weeks. In these cases, fibrotic nodules appear on the nose, ears and forefeet. You can see the fibrotic nodules near the eyes and uh, nose and ears in this picture. Rabbits inoculated experimentally with laboratory strains of virus invariably develop small nodules at the point of injection after several days. Similar nodules develop later on other parts of the body, particularly the ears. Here you can see the skin swellings and swollen eyelids, which have some clinical signs in myxomatosis. There will be conjunctivitis and milky ocular discharge. Now coming to the lesions, few characteristic gross lesions are found at necropsy in the acute form of the disease. The spleen is occasionally enlarged and devoid of lymphocytes when examined histologically. In rabbits that survive longer, subcutaneous edema and nodular skin tumors are seen. Coming to the diagnosis, the seasonal incidence of the disease, the clinical signs, especially the swollen genitalia and high mortality are all of diagnostic significance. Large eosinophilic cytoplasmic inclusion bodies in the conjunctival epithelial cells are also helpful in diagnosis. So, in the histopathology, you can see 
uh, cytoplasmic inclusion bodies they are large and eosinophilic in the conjunctival epithelial cells so this is the microscopic section from the dermis of the australian rabbit with myxomatosis the note the myxoid material interspersed between the hair follicles and the intracytoplasmic eosinophilic inclusion bodies myxomatosis in the skin of a free ranging rabbits can see variably sized gelatinous nodules expand the skin of the lip and perineum, eyelid edema and hyperemia and also you can see the histopathology there. Coming to the prevention and control, no effective treatment is available. An attenuated vaccine prepared from a myxomatosis virus has protected rabbits infected under both field and laboratory conditions. Multiple case reports of adverse reactions mild and local to the live vaccine have been published. Outside the USA, vaccination is an option and highly recommended in endemic areas. This vaccine is not available in USA and because there is no effective treatment, euthanasia and burying or burning of affected rabbits is indicated. Preventive measures include protecting rabbits from exposure to arthropod vectors like mosquitoes, fleas, biting flies, etc. Because these vectors uh, play an important role in the spread of the disease. But the disease is also spread by direct contact. So, the, the control measure also involves uh, the euthanasia and uh, burying of the uh, infected rabbits. So that's all about myxomatosis in rabbits, also known as big head or mosquito disease. So this the, the, the importance of the disease is it have no effective treatment and vaccination is not available in US and outside US it is used in endemic areas. So please go through the, all the details like etiology, clinical science, diagnosis and prevention. So if the video is informative, please like it and share it with your friends, comment your suggestions. If you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified.